Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew Essential and I'm here today to share some dressmaking projects for linen with you. There's so many gorgeous contemporary looks out there on the high street and in the shops at the moment using linen fabric and I wanted to share some of those great ideas with you because we've got a gorgeous new range of linen cotton fabrics in. We've also got lots of linen viscose fabrics in. So I've picked out some contemporary patterns, paired them with those fabrics to give you lots of inspiration. Everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mentioned below and if you like what you see today please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. If you can't wait a whole week do jump on and check out our other social accounts where most of them we post daily that we're in all the usual places Instagram, Facebook and you name it so yeah jump on and have a look at those as well. But I wanted to do this video today I made um, this blouse last year or the year before and it's in a linen viscose mix fabric it's Butterick 6801 so I will link the pattern and the fabric below for for you. Um, the fabric is currently available with a black background but it's still got the same beautiful popping colour prints that you can see on this one um, and I'll link the pattern below as well and I also did a tutorial for adding the little ruffle on the yoke and I added a ruffle around the um, collar as well if you want to see that that's on our channel as well but I just love this blouse the fabric's breathable because it's natural fibres it's lovely and cool it's got excellent drape and movement as you can see um, I loved making the blouse as well it was a really fun blouse to sew but really fun and easy to work with the fabric as well um, so I just thought I'd run through why that was before we get started with the patterns and the fabric so linen is a great fabric to work with especially for beginners or if you just want an easy sew um, it doesn't stretch as you sew so it's not temperamental in any way it's very very well behaved and very easy to sew it also hides a multi of sins because of the texture and the slub of the fabric you know if something goes slightly awry you're not going to be able to spot those mistakes as easily so that's great for beginners as well it's breathable and cool so it's lovely to wear and it's machine washable as well so it's really practical fabric too it's really versatile as well it can be used for a really wide range of different garments it does come in different weights and different mixes so you know you just need to bear that in mind but the linen cotton mix that we've got in stock now really is suitable for you know all garments I would say I don't I, there's not anything I can think of that I think oh no that it wouldn't work for that I really think it would be suitable for jackets jumpsuits dresses skirts tops um, it's a nice sort of mid mid weight I would say linen um, so it does mean it's really versatile now there are a few considerations with linen just to bear in mind the first one is it does shrink very easily so it's absolutely imperative that you pre-wash and pre-shrink your fabric before you start working with it I would always recommend that anyway with any dressmaking projects the last thing you want to do is make a beautiful dress or a garment and then put it in the washing machine and it doesn't fit because it's shrunk so always pre-wash your fabric make sure you've got that shrinkage out um, before you start working with it the other thing to bear in mind is it does fray fairly easily so um, I'd always recommend working with a decent seam allowance a 5 8 seam allowance if you're working with anything narrower like a 3 8 for example if you make any mistakes and you do have to unpick that can very quickly start working it away the um, seam allowance can so I'd always recommend working with the 5 8 um, and then also you will need to finish those raw edges to make sure that they don't fray away with washing and wearing. So you can either do that with an overcasting or overlocking stitch um, or you can always use a French seam or a flat fell seam as well depending on how what weight the linen is. In this linen viscose blouse I did French seams which gave me that lovely neat finish inside so you've got lots of options there. And then finally if you're not sort of familiar with linen one thing I will say is if you're or somebody who can't cope with creases this probably isn't the fabric for you because it does crease um, fairly easily so if you really cannot cope with creases um, it's not for you um, 
However, you know, if you're pretty laid back about that, then it's absolutely fine. It does press beautifully as well. You might want to use a pressing cloth when you're pressing seams and things just to make sure that you don't get any shine. Um, there is a video on our channel all about pressing and lots of tips for that if you wanted to check that out. Um, but yeah, and also the other thing to consider is prints will show less creases than plain um, linens as well. So, now I've given you all that information, let's get started with this gorgeous pattern selections. So the first look I wanted to share with you, I've seen I really want to get one in my wardrobe ready for summer. I've seen so many gorgeous linen jumpsuits out there. So really contemporary looking, casual jumpsuit that you could just slip on with a pair of sandals or trainers, not have to think about, you know, separates and what goes with what, maybe sling a jacket on over the top and off you go. Um, and this has been a really big look now for the last few years, these sort of casual day wear jumpsuits. Um, and I would love to get one in my wardrobe. So to recreate this gorgeous look, I would use the True Bias Rory jumpsuit, which runs in sizes from a zero to an 18. So the zeros a 32 chest, a 26 waist and a 34 hip. And the 18 is a 44 and a half bust. 38 and a half waist and a 46 and a half hip. So with this pattern, you can either make the full length jumpsuit or you can make um, a romper or a play suit, a short version. You can go for sleeves or sleeveless. Um, it's got seams running down. Um, it's got like, a, not a princess seam. It's got a seam that runs from the shoulder seam down to the hem at the um, end of the trouser leg on both sides at the front and the back. And then it's got these cool sort of um, pockets as well with diagonal lines, lots of opportunities to do some nice top stitching, um, which would work really well with the linen. It's got options for little ties at the side to draw it in, or you can go for a looser fitting version. And it's a button down at the front with a V-neck. So very, very contemporary looking, um, perfect for linen, a chambray, silk noir and rayon chalet. So the fabric I chose for the Rory jumpsuit was the linen cotton mix in the navy blue, um, which I thought was very timeless and classic. Um, so yeah, it would probably be something you would go back to year after year after year if you made it, which is always a nice feeling. Um, so yeah, it's a, a sort of medium weight, I would say linen as I mentioned earlier. Now when making trousers and things it depends how you feel. It's sort of semi-opaque so it's not completely opaque because obviously it's got that weave. It is a fine weave. It's not one of the really loose weave linens um, but you might just need to consider that. If ever you want a sample do just drop us an email. We're happy to send you on. Um, but lots of people don't line linen and just sort of allow you know you might want to wear nude, uh, nude coloured underwear underneath perhaps perhaps, um, you know, you might have different ways of dealing with that. But yes, you, you might want to consider whether you'd want to line this. I probably wouldn't. I would make a jumpsuit with this and I'd probably wear nude underwear and I wouldn't bother lining it. Um, but yeah, that's the gorgeous navy colourway there. So that would work beautifully for that jumpsuit, the Rory jumpsuit by True Bias. As I mentioned at the start, I'll put individual links to all these products below so they're nice and easy to find for you. The second look I spotted, um, there were lots of gorgeous wrap dresses in linen. So really pretty wrap dresses with ruffles and frills and that sort of thing, which I think are nice and easy to dress up for day, to, uh, dress up for nighttime or dress down for daytime. Um, saw these in lots and lots of different places. And the pattern I chose to recreate the look is Simplicity 9224, which comes in sizes six to 24. It's a Mimi G pattern. Um, so the six starts in a 30 and a half bust, 23 waist and a 32 and a half hip. And the 24 is a 46 bust, 39 waist and 48 hip. Um, 
so it comes in two different sizes you'll find them both on the website and all the details are there for the size charts as well when you go on to look at the product but this is a gorgeous wrap dress by Mimi G I really love a lot of her designs so it's got a grown on sleeve so there's no setting in sleeves and it's got lovely sort of drapes so it's going to work really well in linen the sleeve is finished with a band or a small cuff um, it's a wrap dress uh, it slightly looks like it's slightly gathered at the waist I think you might need elastic yeah so you use elastic at the waist so nice and comfortable and then it's got this lovely sort of waterfall asymmetric hem um, ties at the side as you would expect and a v-neck at the top just above the knee finishes just above the knee you've got the option to have a, a band coming across the front on one side as well so just some nice interesting design details on this one and the colour I chose for that is this gorgeous coral colour so it's just nice to be able to show you all these colours on the camera because I think sometimes it's a bit easier to get an idea of them um, than it is on the static images having said that obviously colours are subject to your monitor on your computer so just bear that in mind and if you are be particular about colours or you really want a specific sort of shade um, it's always going to be best to um, just drop us an email and get a sample but I think this coral colour would look absolutely beautiful sewn up into a lovely drapey wrap dress imagine that with them on holiday with some nice sandals just a beautiful pretty color um, the next idea that I came up with was I saw lots and lots of linen jackets so great for so many different things over the summer you know easy to just throw on with a pair of jeans and a simple t-shirt you can wear them over dresses um, you could wear it with a skirt you could make separates you could make a matching skirt to go with the jacket so lots and lots of different opportunities and um, the blazer that I chose to recreate this look is the Friday Pattern Company Heather blazer which is available in an extra small to an extra extra large so the extra small is a 32 bust 24 waist 34 hip and the extra extra large is a 46 bust 39 waist and 49 hip so the heather blazer has been really popular i've seen lots and lots of versions of this on instagram super contemporary blazer it's got a lapel at the front with the cutout and then the collar um, it's like a boyfriend fit so it's quite a loose fit it's got patch pockets long sleeves hits it probably sort of mid thigh by the looks of it um, and yeah I've heard lots of people rave about this fastens with a single button and buttonhole at the front and just a great layering piece as I say that you can work into your wardrobe with lots and lots of different um, outfits so the fabric I chose for that one um, was this gorgeous light olive green colour um, I just thought this would look really nice with denim it would go really well with black as well and it's just a nice way to bring some pretty colour into your spring summer wardrobe so that is the light olive green colour um, if you need any tailoring supplies for the heather blazer as well you can find those on our website we've got a great tailoring section on the website with lots of different interfacings and that sort of thing so do check that out as well as I mentioned I'm linking all the patterns and fabrics below the next look that I saw was a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. I thought it was a really interesting take on linen. And when I say, you know, I've been saying about contemporary looks, I think all of these are super contemporary. Um, the dress I saw was a really beautiful fitted dress with princess seams, puff sleeves, and then a gorgeous ruffle around the hem. Um, in a gorgeous red linen it just looks so beautiful um, and but timeless as well contemporary but timeless is that possible I don't know but I just thought it was really lovely and the pattern I would use to recreate the look the perfect pattern is McCall's 8179 so this is a princess seamed um, fitted dress with a sweetheart neckline it's then got gathered um, puff sleeves short sleeves and it's got a ruffle around the hem um, there's also other options for a sleeveless dress with a, a, shot, a one shoulder strap that turns into a ruffle down the front of the dress or you can go for the princess seam um, fitted dress but with a long sort of um, 
almost like a bishop sleeve. Um, it runs in sizes from 6 to 24, which is a 30 and a half bust, 23 waist and 32 and a half hip for the six and a 46 bust, 39 waist and 48 hip for the 24. Um, so yeah, this works in a range of sort of cotton blends and woven fabrics as well. So would work well in the linen. And after seeing that gorgeous inspiration that I saw um, in one of my favorite shops, I just thought that um, it had to be a lovely red linen to recreate that look. So I chose the red colorway, which you can see here. That is just such a beautiful red. I'm sure you'll agree. Really, really lovely. I think reds can be quite sort of, um, there's so many different shades of red and there's some that I really like and there's some that I'm not so keen on. And I just think this is a really lovely shade, um, a really lovely shade of red. So that was that look. The next one I wanted to share with you is super contemporary and I'm seeing a lot um, in lots and lots of places. The waistcoat's back along that 90s vibe. There's so many 90s things that are coming back in. I'm wearing a pair of flared jeans today, which I haven't worn since the mid 90s. Um, you know, waistcoats are back. So many different looks. And um, I saw a lovely waistcoat and short tailored short set um, in a striped linen. And I just thought it looked so lovely. So a sort of contemporary idea and if you didn't want to go for the whole separate matching look you could just make the shorts and wear those with a t-shirt for a more classic look um, or you could just make the waistcoat wear that with jeans um, so yeah different options there but the pattern I chose to recreate this look was Vogue 1707 so you've got the option for a waistcoat and shorts. Um, shorts are a bit longer on this pattern than they were in the inspiration, but I mean, easy enough to just take that hem up and just shorten them. Um, but there's also a blazer style dress as well um, with the option for some crop trousers underneath that. But the blazer style dresses have been really fashionable as well. I've seen a lot of those this season. Um, I would be tempted to lose the crop trousers underneath it and shorten the dress to about knee length if I was going to make it but two super contemporary looks and the one I was thinking of was the shorts and the um, waistcoat um, I'll just run through the sizes before I show you the fabric for this one but um, it runs in an 8 to a 24 the 8s are 31 and a half bust 24 waist and 33 and a half hip and the 24 is a 46 bust 39 waist and 48 hip um, and the fabric I chose for this one is this gorgeous just linen cotton mixed stripe fabric we've got here in this lovely pale blue with the white stripe and um, we've also got this in like a sort of sort of pinky ready sort of color as well and I think um, you could definitely recreate that look with this. Um, but also I've seen some lovely sundresses over the years with these linen stripes as well. So I think it would work really well for one of those two. And you can have a bit of fun with the stripes, different design dresses. There's a lovely Vogue pattern where it demonstrates it beautifully on the packet and somebody's got the stripes going in different directions, which can look really good and be a nice design feature as well. And then finally, the last um, bit of inspiration I wanted to share with you, as I said, I've got my flares on today. Bell bottoms, flares, wide leg trousers are all making a bit of a comeback. It's quite nice to just have a new silhouette after so many years of skinny jeans. Um, but I saw some gorgeous high-waisted button down um, bell bottom or flare trousers um, in linen that would just look really lovely. I think I love a high waist. I mean, these jeans I've got on today, as I say, they're a, a flared jean. I just find a high waist, just I feel really comfortable in because I feel like it's sort of just quite flattering and just makes me feel like held in. I don't, I don't like a low slung waist. I feel like I'm hanging over that sometimes when I sit down. So um, I think I just always feel quite put together and quite smart in a high waist. Um, and then I really love the whole flare bell bottom look. I know not everybody does, but yeah, I'm a big fan of it. Um, so the pattern I chose to recreate this look was the True Bias Lander Pants um, and shorts. It's also a shorts pattern as 
well. This is one I've wanted to make for a really long time. Um, it's just I just haven't got around to it. I just um, I don't know why, but super contemporary look. Really lovely design details. It's a button down front, wide leg, high waisted trouser. It's got nice big. Um, patch pockets and it's got um, patch pockets on the back as well um, a waistband button down front and then you've got the option for the shorts as well um, this runs in sizes 0 to 18 again so a 26 waist and 34 hip for the zero and a 38 and a half waist and 46 and a half hip for the 18 and the fabric I chose to recreate the look that I just shared with you um, just shamelessly copying it with the lovely sort of it's called over okra the they call this one okra um but i wouldn't call it an okra i think i don't an okra to me is like a mustardy dark yellow and this is much more of a lighter brighter yellow um it's almost like a sort of light sand color perhaps i would call it again you can get samples if you want them if you want to check the colors out for yourself um but yeah lovely contemporary yellow i was going to use this to make some um utility or combat trousers which again are another 90s trend that's back um, but I also think they would look good this would look gorgeous sewn up into those lander pants um, again just think about how um, important like opacity is to you if you need it to be completely opaque you know you might want to underline or line this if you're making trousers um, but if you're okay with it being sort of semi-opaque um, then you know you'd be all right with it but yeah i just think that would look gorgeous very contemporary very fresh paired with a white t-shirt um that would be a great look so i hope you've enjoyed that today everybody as i said at the start of the video everything i talk about today is linked below and if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and i'll look forward to seeing you next time <music>